Good morning, everyone. I'm Jane, and today I'll be presenting a quantitative assessment of environmental licensing in non-licensing municipalities of Rio de Janeiro, comparing data from 2022 and 2023. This research was conducted by a team from the University of Vassouras, Brazil. Environmental licensing is a crucial tool that helps us balance economic growth with environmental preservation. In Rio de Janeiro State, this process is currently governed by CONIMA Resolutions 9221 and 9522, which define municipal competencies for environmental management. These regulations are fundamental for controlling potentially polluting activities. An interesting fact about Rio de Janeiro's environmental management system is that out of 92 municipalities in the state, only 19 are currently not authorized to issue environmental licenses. This is because they don't meet the necessary requirements established by state regulations. The research aimed to analyze environmental licenses issued by ANIA, State Environmental Institute, during 2022 and 2023 in these non-licensing municipalities. The goal was to understand the challenges faced and contribute to strengthening local environmental management. The study methodology was straightforward but comprehensive. Data was collected from two main sources, Google Scholar for Theoretical Background and the Ambiente Plus platform provided by INEA for licensing data. The research focused on environmental licenses and control instruments issued between January 2022 and December 2023. All data analysis was performed using Minitab version 20.0. Looking at the results, we can see a significant decrease in the number of licenses issued from 2022 to 2023. In 2022, INEA issued 113 licenses across these municipalities, while in 2023, this number dropped dramatically to just 40 licenses. Some municipalities, like Santa Maria Madalena, Sumiduro, and Trajano de Moraes, went from having multiple licenses in 2022 to zero in 2023. The statistical analysis using box plot diagrams and the Mann-Whitney test confirmed that this decrease was statistically significant. The data didn't follow a normal distribution, as shown by the Shapiro-Wilk test, which led us to use non-parametric statistical methods for the analysis. These findings raise important concerns about local environmental management. The lack of local licensing capability can result in municipalities failing to meet legal requirements. Moreover, there seems to be a lack of awareness and priority given to environmental management by some municipal administrations. In conclusion, while the Ambiente Plus platform provides excellent transparency for tracking environmental licenses, there's a clear need to strengthen the institutional and technical capacity of non-licensing municipalities. It's crucial to promote awareness about the importance of environmental licensing and provide support for these municipalities to assume their responsibilities in local environmental management. We thank the University of Vasuras, the Professional Master's Program, the Carlos Chagas Foundation, and the University of Mendoza for organizing this event. Key sources for this research include Brazil's Environmental Policy Law, CONIMA Resolutions 92 and 95, and studies by Nascimento and Fonseca on environmental licensing decentralization.